So a lot of people have told me before we get into this episode that right around this time, I'm pretty sure this episode and beyond, the animation gets a little unique because they were having production issues due to COVID. So I just want to let you guys know that me going into this, knowing that, hopefully it makes it better. I don't know. People haven't told me it's bad. People have just told me it's it's a little different. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 4 or To the Top, Episode 15. This one is called Found. Last episode, we had a very, well, we are currently still having a very difficult uphill battle ahead of us, and I am just not sure what it's going to take for us to be able to overcome them. We have Otsu, Osamu and Atsumu who were able to perfectly replicate our insane quick at the end of the last episode, which uh, we've never seen anyone else do that. We never, like, the, the amount of teamwork and potential these two have let alone their whole team is just crazy and then we have Oran who is just nasty as well we have everyone else we have Kita who's who's nasty just so many people we have Suna also nasty so many people uh dealing with difficult serves dealing with difficult attacks difficult good defense it's just all around we're going against national style national level teams and this is very difficult but I cannot wait for us to figure out what we need to do and then obviously execute it and do it. So I say we jump right on into this. I am excited. Real quick though, remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching like Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Clover, many, many more to come in the future. We are four episodes ahead. That Patreon link will always be in the description for you guys. I do want to let you guys know if you guys see me rubbing my eyes at all or anything like that, then it's because of my allergies. My allergies have been going crazy. I've been blowing my nose a lot. It's spring and summertime is horrible for me. I just want to let you guys know that we have a lot of new subscribers around here who weren't here last spring and summer, but I just want to get right into this episode. Haikyuu, um, season four, or to the top, episode 15, called Found. Let's do it. I mean, it's something that very, I don't even know, man. This is just crazy that they were able to do that. No one's been able to do that before. Would be a unique level of trust and, and stuff like that, you know? Who needs trust when you have faith? You know you know he's good enough to do it. You know he's gonna get it there. A good receive. I mean, how are you gonna play defense against Hinata's quick when no other team because no one else could do that? Right? I don't blame Karasuno for not being able to receive that. No one can. The reason is their special attack, you know? <laughs> Nothing ever phases Kageyama. It's always Hinata, though. That's a good point. That's a good point that he's not tied down to Kageyama all the time. It's an interesting way of putting it that I never would have thought of. No. I can definitely see... <laughs> he definitely wasn't. I can definitely see what you guys are talking about with the animation. I could totally see it. But he knows that he can't do everything on his own now. So he does put certain aspects. He relies. He has faith in other people. And it really doesn't phase him anymore. That's great. Okay. Read block Tsukushima. You know how nasty he is. He goes immediately as soon as he sees the ball. And boom. That's my boy, best boy. Read block legend right here. That's true. That's true. He's happy. So Inoika, who's played against it multiple times, Aone, who's played against it multiple times. And then Tsukushima, who's seen it multiple times, knows how to do it. I like I like that addition to the list, and I like the reasoning before that. <laughs> I like how happy he is. That is hilarious. 
Read block Suki again. One touch. One touch. Legend. Yeah, Tanaka. Oh. Tanaka really never does get the spotlight, but he's one of the most important members on this team. Okay, that was a great dodge. That's us, right? Yeah. And just mark him the whole time. I know Ika would do that, do that with. I love the. I still love the drums and the everything from our squad. That's exactly what Inoika would do to uh, Hinata. I know. You can see him take a couple steps back. I even got excited just like Bokuto. Come up, come up, force him to get as high as he can, you little shit. Why'd you serve it so high? <laughs> Why'd you set it so high, I mean. Hey, it's because we know Suki can do it. Let's go. I love how he drew that out of him, too. He said, you little... A lot, a lot. He went from the goody two shoes to uh, a lot more of a well rounded character. I love it. Oh, God. Kinoshita, that's his name, right? <laughs> Mr. Nervous Boy. Right? All the details, all the info you needed. Now he's about to do this. True, these are just other high school students. They're just like you. Now, boy, got this. Right? Yeah, you're not expecting that. Right, oh, that was a great block, too, right in his face. <laughs> Almost 20 centimeters higher than him, and he did block him successfully. And one of the Mia twins. And we're tied. I don't know about that. I, I do like your faith in your teammates, but I also think you should have more faith in yourself. Yep, he definitely has number one when it comes to bounce, hops, you know, but Osamu, a lot of these have strength, experience, a lot of these other attributes that are just out-level us, you know? That's what I'm saying. Experience and a lot of other variables make it just so hard. Lost in a crowd. Who would be the most annoying blocker one on one? Oh, is he forcing? Yeah, he was forcing him to hit a straight shot because that flashback said you're not hitting a cross. But whose voice was that? Sound like Ushijima at first. Get lost in the crowd, so we're definitely doing that very well. Okay, nice. Great. I want to know who he thought was the most. Maybe I'll catch it during editing or something. Maybe I'll rewatch that part in a second. Oh, oh how am I forgetting his name? Alba Josai. I actually really like them as well. Is that Matsun? That was he was next to Hanamaki, right? I have all their names written down. So we're tied up 2020. That's great. Yep. Oh, okay. I like that observation coach. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was such a fantastic spike. <laughs> I love these guys. Ooh, he went for a... Oh, he did it on accident. He accidentally fainted, dinked, and it still worked. Let's go. He meant to slam that, but it just hit the top. That was damn crows. I think that was an accident, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> He's all pissed you wanted to play defense, but hell yeah. You do, I, I do hope you score 10 points, Yamaguchi. Yeah, You're my boy. I hope so as well, Sugawara. One step at a time, just like always, you've done this hundreds of times. Typical way you walk. Typical way, just exactly like a patternistic motion yep exits oh i remember that i do appreciate that this time it's gonna be the band oh it's blocking the exit oh uh, no he can't reset calm down find something else yes and then all the sounds all the senses just start being overwhelmed and flooded the shima that's exactly what he used to reset with his original fucking... Let's go. Let's go. I, I don't know the Neighborhood Association guy's names, but I've been saying since like season one that these guys are awesome. They've always been there, I swear to God. Boom. Let's go. Service ace. <laughs> yeah. He's over there freaking out holding this little bag. Hell yeah. I'm the same way. Gives you inspiration, I hope, Kinoshita. That could be you as well. You and Yamaguchi got your own little rivalry going at it, you know? If he actually scores one more point, is that where it ends? There's no way. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I want to deal with the elephant in the room. Well, first, that was a great episode, but uh, um, the animation change, I can't blame them at all, especially with a pandemic going on with what happened during the, you know, the world. So I could totally understand how that could have production issues immensely throughout animating, going to the studio, having to do this. I'll just, I just, I don't know the process of animating a show. I actually really would like to learn more about that. So I think I should do that sometime, but I am not going to knock them for that especially because this episode um seemed like it could be one of those episodes that would be okay with if they were going to have an episode with less animation to work on other ones this would be one because it dealt with a lot of the strategic and, and mental fortitude that goes into a game versus these specific plays and the craziness that happens like this one was like okay they're dealing with us in this way let's discuss how we can overcome that let's discuss what we can do as a team let's, let's do this that and the other like there was no like insane spike or insane this that and the other so it was okay you know definitely okay i do feel like they're setting up my boy tanaka um for some amazing moments which i do hope it happens because we have uh, kanoka watching kanoka who i don't she, she's getting pissed when other people are talking smack about tanaka well it's because it makes sense from an audience perspective. They've never heard of Karasuno until this year, but all of a sudden you got fucking Tsukushima popping off. You got the first year duo popping off. Nishinoya is goat tier. You have Asahi, who's our ace, you know, set. You have Daichi, who's our all around jack of all trades defense captain. But then you got Tanaka, who I've never, ever, ever once thought Tanaka wasn't doing anything. I know the value. He's always he's literally been our senpai since episode like two or whatever we met him he's literally been there from the beginning but he's one of those characters who does rarely get the spotlight which uh, he you know he's so critical to the team i would love for him to have an outstanding moment i would definitely love that and maybe just maybe kanoka sees it and maybe we go out on a date after i don't know i'm just saying i'm just saying but uh uh, overall, like I said, fantastic episode. I do like how they were able to replicate our quick, and then we had to, we we're just dealing with so like that's the one thing I love about the amount of teams and everything in this show is like Date Kogio, fantastic at defense. So are Nekoma, fantastic at defense. So when we're having issues with our defense, we relate to them and draw things, you know, from their 
you know playbook it's it's it just makes so much sense in, in terms of actual strategies and sports like he's like i want you to be exactly like inoika did for you and he's like oh okay that makes sense just mark him and then you know oh, it's just i just i love the thought that goes into it I, I really do i thoroughly enjoy this um before we get out of here we do have a couple of questions on the q a section of the discord if you guys don't know there is a q a section where you guys can ask me any question you guys want about the show i will most likely answer it at the end of the episode of one of the upcoming episodes of that show we do have two questions over here for high q this one is from kiwi only to be answered after episode 13 i know i'm a little late on this i apologize kiwi but he says do you think karasuno will win this match and if so will he not just score the game winning point just like with shiro torizawa and alba josai i haven't seen part two so i don't actually know the answer to this um First off, thank you for the question, Kiwi. I'm surprised you haven't seen part two as well. That's that's so interesting that you asked this question, but I haven't seen it. Um, I'm glad I'm answering it now, not when I actually already know the answer. Um, but do I think he not to? Do I think Karasuno will win this match? And if so, will he not to score the game-winning point? I do think he uh, Karasuno was winning the match. I oh, that's the thing, because like when it comes to this show, I think we're. I don't know if we're gonna win nationals. I don't know. We had. I don't know. That's a difficult question. Do I think we're going to win this match? Yes. Do I think we're going to win nationals? I don't know. I got to see how more goes. That's not even a part of your question. I just wanted to go on a, off on a little tangent. But do I think Hinata is going to win the score of the winning point? I could totally see it going down because everyone just rose Hinata like crazy. We have people like Hoshiyumi and Bokuto watching. But I could also understand him not scoring the game winning point. I can understand Kageyama scoring the game winning point because we also have players like Hoshiyumi and Bokuto Akashi watching, um, but also because we're going against Atsumu, who's been wondering throughout this episode, what has happened to Kageyama since the training camp? It's only been, what, a couple of weeks? Maybe, I don't know. But what has happened to him in this meantime? Because he's a different character, you know? So it's, it's interesting. That's a great question. I could see Hinata doing it. I could see Kageyama do it. I could see... That's pretty much all I could see. Either one of our first years. That's who I'm thinking. That's who I'm expecting. So... Thank you for that question, but I it, it's a hard one. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Now let's go on into our next question from um, Buckeye Bangle. Thank you for the question and the support, my man. He says, take your time answering this if you need, but with this tournament being the last for the third years for the team, I have a question. If you could make a team from all second years or younger players from any team, who would you choose and why? I want a full team in terms of the positions they play. So three wing spikers, two mid blockers, one setter, and one libero um, with only one player changing their position to fill the team. So I won't lie, Buckeye, it took me a long time to write or find the answer to this question because I was thinking, hmm, who do I want? And now my answer, I don't really have a lot of reasonings for this. These are just, and it's, it's very biased, I will let you know, because of how much time I've spent with our characters at Karasuno. So obviously they're going to be first pick, but for our setter, uh, Kageyama, obviously one of the best in the whole entire league, Nishinoya. For libero, for libero, also obviously one of the best in the entire league. For mid blockers, I have Hinata and Tsukishima. I would have chosen someone else besides Hinata if it weren't for the potential of Hinata and Kageyama. Like, as of right now, and they're still great as of right now, this is, in my opinion, like half of the stuff that they could do. If they were to become as in sync as Osamu and Atsumu, it would be undeniable. So... I have Hinata, Kageyama, Nishinoya, Tsukushima as my Karasuno boys. And then for my wing spikers, I have Goshiki, one of my favorite wing spikers from Shiro Torizawa. Inoika, one of my favorite wing spikers from, um, which I had, to, I had to look it up on the wiki. I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't, I doubt it's a spoiler. Maybe he switched when we weren't looking, but I had to, I looked up on the Haikyuu wiki all second and first years and like their positions. So I didn't, I wanted to be accurate, you know, cause sometimes their position is a little different. Like I thought Liev would have been a wing spiker, but he's middle blocker, just like Hinata makes sense. But, uh, Inoika, it says was a former, former middle blocker, but now he's a wing spiker. So I'm, I'm counting him. So Inoika, Goshiki and Osamu, surprisingly, I know. I have Osamu without Atsumu there, but I think the, with the amount of talent and skill that Kageyama presents, that he'd be able to make Osamu work in there perfectly. So that would be my team. 
It would be very unique, but Hinata, Kageyama, Tsukushima, Nishinoya, Goshiki, Osamu, and Inoika. Thank you for that question, Buckeye Bangle. I'm going to hop out of here, guys. Watch this next episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought. Comments down below. Like always, check out that Patreon if you guys want early access, full length, all that jazz. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out, you guys.